I'm Alex, I'm the specialist buyer at Fontaine Motors Limited and this is an Audi RS4 Avant we're in the process of purchasing for our retail stock. With this car we've just been through our process of checking through the car's history, its identity, its paperwork and a physical inspection of its condition. Um, it's much the same process we go through for every single car that we buy for our stock to make sure that it meets our standards and meets a standard that we're happy to warrant and hand to a customer. Um, that process starts at a computer level in that when a car is offered to us for sale we check its background. So with HPI we check the vehicle's identity, that's registration, chassis numbers. We check its service history and verify that work with the garages that have carried out the service. HPI also warrant us against mileage discrepancies and confirm the car's insurance history. Once we've established that the car on paper is all good, um, we go a into a little bit more detail by inspecting the car itself. That starts out with an appraisal of the car's cosmetic condition. Um, that's paintwork, alloy wheels, interior condition, a road test. We're looking to confirm that the car is in good cosmetic order, isn't hiding any accident damage or had poor quality repairs. We look at the alloy wheels for curb damage just to make sure that they look nice. Um, going over its tyres to ensure that when you see the car you'll be hopefully be impressed. This particular car Having had a good look around it, it needs some pretty innocent cosmetic work. We've got some small marks on the alloy wheels that will be professionally refurbished back into the factory diamond cut finish. There's also a couple of small parking dents that we'll have no problem removing. Um, all day-to-day -day work, very easy for us to sort. Once we've, we're happy with that, the car is also um, lifted up on a ramp in the workshop to make sure that mechanically and electrically everything is sound. This car's had a diagnostic fault scan that showed no codes that we need to be worried about. Um, and then a, a physical inspection underneath did yield a couple of issues we're going to need to address. We've noticed that there is some fluid leakage from this near side front shock. Uh, this is from the, the DRC system and will probably require a new shock and replacement of the DRC fluid on that circuit. So on inspection of these front brake discs, we can see that they're below the minimum specified limit, uh, brand new they're 34 mil, minimum uh, limit is 32 and these are coming in at 31 so these are definitely going to need replacement. In the case of this car its brake discs are below the minimum thickness that Audi say is required so they'll be replaced front and rear with brand new discs and pads from Audi. We also uncovered one fault as well um, a couple of leaking shock absorbers. This car has DRC suspension that we do have the equipment and tools to work on in-house. We've got one with quite a bad leak, one with a fairly minor leak. They'll be replaced with brand new parts, the system repressurized to bring the car up to 100% health. We'd love it if you could give this video a like and follow our social media channels.